Hey there, so today I'm going to show you how you can upgrade the B-Link SCR6 with a SATA SSD. Now they've actually made the whole process a lot simpler for this new generation of mini PCs. Really the whole process begins by just opening up the bottom. You really just need to do the four screws that are luckily not hidden by anything, which is a welcome sight to see. A lot of modern manufacturers really try to keep you away from opening the devices that you buy, so it's nice to see that they don't do anything to obfuscate the whole process here. But the whole process of opening up the system is actually made really easy by this little rubber tab here that you can just pull on to open the bottom. This is already a pretty noticeable improvement over the SRE5 that had a bottom that was very difficult to remove. And the best part is now there is no SATA cable that you could potentially damage. You simply take your SSD and of course make sure that it is facing this exact way so that it can line up and you just put it in there and that's it. Just make sure it's all the way in and you're good to go. Now, I went with an ultra cheap two terabyte SATA SSD that of course is using QLC NAND. Now, what this means is that it actually can get pretty slow, especially once it starts to fill up in capacity. So if I were you and you had a little bit of extra money, even if you're going for two terabytes or four terabytes, which right now two to four terabytes seems to be the most cost effective high capacity drives you can get for this. If you're going for those, I would get yourself something with some actual DRAM, something like an MS. 500 because while I like these two terabytes that I got here for mass storage especially for games and things like that it can actually get really slow when it comes to downloading games because of my gigabit connection it can pretty much just oversaturate this little drive so I'll link down below some of the drives you can actually pick up to upgrade this system with but it is a extremely easy process but anyways I will catch you guys in the next one